Hey, this is Rick. Scottsdale Urban Farm, Scottsdale, Arizona. We got some rain. This is like my driveway alley going back to the orchard and the farm. I mean, we even got an upside down car. Just kidding. But we uh, we, we got us we, we got us some water. No doubt. <laughs> Here I got squishy feet. More water. Whoop. Almost slipped. More water over there. All right. Just one more video from Scottsdale Urban Farms showing our great appreciation for the moisture. Thank God for monsoon 2021. We are really, really catching up. Uh, with our, our our water and our rain, which is less than we have to do, and we're also harvesting uh, much as much as we possibly can. Now is the time this year, especially this year's. Uh, I really, really wish we had like a 500 gallon underground tank that was fed by by the gutter system. Uh, so something we're really going to look at because if we have uh, another future rain like this where we have uh, this much rain as often as we have it, we'd be able to fill that thing up and then just use that for, for watering our, our flowers, our trees, our shrubs, um, and, and a potential backup if we got a big enough tank. But super excited. Look at our mulberry tree. Doing so good. And like I said, I, I had to take the top of this off. I'm gonna remove this, this cage this week uh, this is a, you can see the, the damage to the leaf from being around the wind and stuff. This is a full sun plant uh, tree, but with the uh, first year, we wanted to give it uh, some protection. But with it being mid-August, I think we're just going to go ahead and, and pull this and just let this thing spread its wings. Unfortunately, these, this winter we'll be able to take the lids off. Uh, but these these peach trees too, they, they like a, a filtered sun, partial sun, and it being the first year on the ground with us, we definitely had to protect it and uh, keep keep uh, keep the pests away, keep it uh, properly uh, fed so that it'll grow. Uh, but we're anticipating on having some some peaches, a couple of years, three years. And this, I still don't have a name for this one yet. It's, it's just, it's, it's really cool. It's just kind of goofy cool. And it's just really weird. So we're going to give this one a unique name and let it uh, just grow and do its thing. Looking forward to uh, grafting. We're going to try air grafting. Probably... Probably this one down here. If you've ever air grafted, let me know. Uh, I, I would love to take and start some other ones of these. But I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm still researching that. All right, everybody. Take care. This is uh, Rick Bourne from Scottsdale Urban Farms. Scottsdale, Arizona, 85254. Just kind of surveying the property and looking at all of the water that we have and the wonderful moisture that we're retaining and keeping and we have uh, we've got our five bioreactors that we're going to uh, do I did a video on those the other day I had to trim up this tree because I don't like having things whack me in the head when I'm walking by and that son of a gun's got some thorns on it too that'll leave a mark on you so, 
All right, my friends, take care and have yourself a blessed day. This is Rick Borden from Scottsdale Living Farms, Scottsdale, Arizona, 85254.